Navi, who just won the Blast tournament and are considered the best team in the world, all use 1280 by 960, which is a 4x3 resolution. Using a different in-game res compared to the native 1920 by 1080 that I always use was definitely an eye-opener and I just recently almost got stuck to 4x3. But before talking more about it, let's get it with ECL, the European Community League made by the CSGO community. ECL focuses on a player-controlled environment where toxic behavior is punished. This offers an overall better gaming experience for the players who are not interested in teammates that give up after losing a pistol round. There are different subscription models and you don't need Face It Premium to play, but you do need a Face It account and a specific amount of total hours depending on your Face It level. ECL also offers you a way into the pro scene by grinding you up to Legends. This is the highest division where the top 20 players are invited to play the FPL C qualifiers. Once you're subscribed to ECL, make sure you install Face It's anti-cheat, join the division that matches your Face It level, then verify your account. Now all you need to do is join ECL's Discord server and authenticate yourself to start using voice comms. Oh, and starting today is a free week for Division 3 players. And now back to the res. Over the past days, I have played with different in-game resolutions just to get a feel for them. A very popular trend among CSGO pros is using a lower res than your native one. And it just so happens to be that Na'Vi are all using the same res. As you all probably know, the aspect ratio affects what you can see. 69 is arguably the most common one on monitors today. Other famous aspect ratios are 1610, 4x3 and 5x4. Since Navi are using 1280x960, they're on 4x3, which lowers their field of view compared to 16x9. I can tell you from years of experience that lowering your field of view is not really a disadvantage per se when you know what to look for. But why? Why would you want to intentionally lower your field of view and make the game look less sharp? For most, it's to muster up the best performance possible. This is on my wife's PC, which is on the mid-end spectrum. Performance does improve when dropping to lower resolutions, and it also affects the slower frames which makes the game run smoother. The jump from 1920 by 1080 to 640x480 is 7.5%, which is a lot, but going from 1280x960 to 640x480 is a different story. Maybe Navi experienced something similar and realized that the most optimal optimal one for performance and clarity was 1280 by 960 not only that, but three of the Navi players are using 8x MSAA to compensate for the low res. Simple, the best player in the world, is one of them. Comparing MSAA from none to 8x makes the game look less pixelated, I guess. I benchmarked it as well, turns out there's barely a difference. It seems that Navi are up to something that gives them the best of both worlds. The last thing to mention is that they're all playing stretched. This fills your entire monitor with the aspect ratio that you've chosen, which in this case is 4x3. This causes the game to look wider, and it feels a bit faster left to right. Note that the mouse travel distance is still the same, so don't go changing your sensitivity if you really like it. But why would you want to play stretched? It looks kind of strange and unproportional to your widescreen monitor, at least from a 16x9 point of view. Well, the thing is, technically speaking, making the models bigger means they'll take up more space on your screen. And when you think about it, CSGO is a game that rewards good aim. So from a psychological view, making player models take up more space on your screen could actually help by making you believe that you're more likely to hit the enemy on your screen. Does it make sense? I guess you could say that you should go with even wider models in that case, but at one point you're gonna turn it down because it becomes a bit too much. It's all about finding the perfect balance if you're into stretched mode. Black bars do, however, come with an advantage that a lot of people don't focus on. With black bars, there is nothing to see on the sides, which means your eyes won't be moving as much since you're way more focused on the middle of the screen. And if you ever wanted a high resolution but for another aspect ratio, you can create a custom resolution. For example, instead of 1280 by 960, you could use 1440 by 1080, which is a 4x3 res but made for your 1080p monitor. 
In order to find the highest resolution for your monitor in a different ratio, start by looking at your native resolution. Next, divide the height, which for me is 1080, by the new aspect ratio's height. If I want 4x3, I'll need to divide 1080 with 3, since 3 is the height. Then, I have to multiply the result with 4, which is the width. Boom! 1440. So now you've got 1440 by 1080. Quick muffs. The final step is to create this resolution inside your GPU control panel. Then all you need to do is restart the game and voila! High res 4x3, which you can play black bars or stretched. You can obviously do the same with 16x10 and 5x4, including other aspect ratios that are supported. Most of them are. Only problem I can see with the custom res is that it takes additional time to set up, and of course the higher res will, as we saw before, affect performance, so there's that as well. With all that said, which resolution is the best one for CSGO? By trying to analyze why Navi is using 1280x960 stretched and with most of the players on 8x MSAA, it does open up new perspectives. But the answer is obviously gonna go down to personal preference.